There are currently four treatment options to manage the symptoms of achalasia. These are in addition to changes to diet and lifestyle. There is currently no cure for achalasia, but treatment can significantly improve symptoms for most people. The treatments are all focused on ensuring that the lower esophageal sphincter opens to let food into the stomach. The treatments are dilatation, laparoscopic helimyotomy, often with fundopolication, POEM, per oral endoscopic myotomy, and Botox injections. The right treatment option for you will always be a decision you make with your doctor, based on your personal circumstances. Your doctor will give you more information about each option to help you make the right choice. A dilatation involves passing a balloon-like device through an endoscope and into the lower esophageal sphincter. The balloon is dilated or opened to stretch the LOS open. Dilatations are sometimes planned to have two stages. There is usually some relief of symptoms. When dilatations are repeated more frequently, that can make the LOS scarred and tough, which in turn can make any later surgery more difficult and less effective. A well-performed dilatation under X-ray visualisation can bring benefit for many years. For some, the benefits may last only weeks or months, whilst others may have little benefit at all. Most dilatations can be done under sedation and you will be in hospital for one day. Some dilatations may need you to have a general anaesthetic and an overnight stay. It's a very short procedure. It took probably 15 minutes, something like that. You're in recovery for half an hour, I think I fell asleep for a little bit. The feeling of that water just going straight down and straight through and into my stomach was absolutely unreal because I hadn't felt anything like that for years. For the first two or three weeks after that, I could eat almost as normal. Then I felt it starting to close up again, which was a little depressing. But from what I understand, the, it's kind of standard practice to do two dilatations. It was very comfortable for at least a couple of months um, and then it came back again. We just booked a repeat appointment. A laparoscopic helimyotomy procedure cuts the muscle in the lower esophageal sphincter and the lower esophagus and reduces the pressure that keeps the lower esophageal sphincter closed. This allows food to reach the stomach through gravity rather than peristalsis. The operation is carried out laparoscopically, also known as keyhole surgery. It involves five small cuts in the tummy area for surgical instruments to be inserted. The surgeon cuts through the two layers of muscle and down to the submucosa layer of the esophagus, leaving the mucosa lining of the esophagus intact. The muscle of the esophagus is cut from about eight centimetres above the LOS and about two to three centimetres into the top of the stomach, ensuring that the LOS remains open and allowing food to pass into the stomach. In addition to allowing food into the stomach, a healthy lower esophageal sphincter functions as a valve to prevent stomach acid rising. Cutting the muscle can make it more likely for the patient to suffer from acid reflux. Nowadays, a myotomy will always be accompanied by a fundopolication to provide control of reflux. The fundopolication procedure wraps part of the top of the stomach, the fundus, around the base of the esophagus. This tries to copy the effect of a working LOS and reduce acid reflux. The fundopolication is usually partial rather than fully wrapping around the esophagus. This procedure is well established and often provides lasting relief from symptoms for the longer term and even for decades. The procedure usually takes around two hours and requires staying in hospital, usually for two days. You begin by only having liquids, then move on to very soft foods. You should be able to eat a wider range of foods and a normal diet after about two to three weeks. I had to be in hospital for about four or five days. It's a helomyotomy um, with a fundoplication, so a wrap. So it's keyhole surgery, so I got like five little holes. So it was amazing being able to eat after the operation. I mean, obviously you need to reintroduce food, like slowly but surely, and start with like fluids and then soft foods, etc. Um, but when I ate my first pizza, it was like heaven. I mean, obviously I've had my ups and downs, but all of those things I can manage quite well by managing my lifestyle. POEM, or per oral endoscopic myotomy, is done using an endoscope. Similarly to a Heller's myotomy, the muscles of the esophagus and the lower esophageal sphincter are cut to enable food to travel to the stomach. 
In Poem, a small cut is made in the mucosa, the lining of the esophagus near the top. The surgical instruments are then passed between the mucosa and the submucosa, and then the muscles are cut outwards. This ensures the LOS remains open to allow food to enter the stomach. Poem is a relatively new procedure and is still being carefully evaluated. It does not allow for fundoplication. If acid reflux occurs, it may require changes to your diet or acid suppressant medication. POEM is carried out under general anaesthetic and takes about 90 minutes. You will need to stay in hospital, usually for two days. You begin only having liquids and then move on to very soft food. You should be able to eat a wider range of foods after about three weeks. I know there are certain foods I still cannot eat. I have to be very careful and half of the problems I might have now are all down to me. It was, went smooth over, so I didn't know a thing because they put me out. And when I woke up, I did have a sore throat, but I was allowed to drink some water. I felt nothing. I felt so much better. I felt lighter. My chest felt lighter. It was such a, a relief. So it was just going upwards from there. Botulin toxin, or Botox injections into the lower esophageal sphincter, or LOS, are given via an endoscope. The whole procedure takes less than an hour and can reduce the muscle tone in the LOS, improving the flow of food into the stomach. The Botox procedure can lead to a relapse after a few weeks or months. It can help some people, particularly if surgery is never going to be an appropriate option. But for many, it may not represent the best long-term solution. It may also make subsequent surgery more complicated or less effective, as it can scar the esophagus. You'll be sedated for this procedure and you'll not be required to stay at the hospital overnight. I'm quite lucky that there are people who are a lot worse than I am with achalasia and they have much more serious dietary problems and while I can manage this, I'd rather do that. Mm -hmm.